Hey poetry lovers, sorry I missed yesterday's poem. Um, I'm gonna make up for it today. I'm gonna read you a poem by Derek C. Brown. He is a popular spoken word poet and he is also the founder of Write Bloody Publishing, which is a publishing organization that publishes lots of contemporary poets in our day and age and um, just they put out tons and tons of great work. If you haven't heard of them, you should. Um, so I'm going to be reading a poem of Derek C. Brown's called The Victory Explosion. And uh, this is one of my favorite poems of his. And it is from the book, I Love You Is Back. So well worth checking out. The Victory Explosions. I try to remember my youth. It evaporates into 76 memories. One memory was that you believed the earth was made perfect by God and that humans fouled it up and that sin was something we gave birth to as God shook his head at our idiocy. How could they choose terror and loss? I don't think God really ever wanted perfection if he designed the things he made with an instinct to screw up. Fighting it and failing is beautiful and hard. Screwing up is part of the program. Call it sin, call it human. Maybe there are codes built inside of darkness needing light and vice versa. It did not shake your belief in the existence of a god, but it shook your belief in the bland necessity for perfection. It birthed the belief that the human who could figure out the balance of a hunger for winning and a deep respect for losing would win the life trophy. You go back to the first year you learned to daydream in a clothing rack. The first year butterflies bloomed adrenalized in your wet guts. In the fifth grade, you tempted everything. Bicycles spinning, the smell of girls, pencils at war, dismantled radios. Launching off the swing set into the air, your first sensation of flight. An innocent season for getting your ass kicked by a boy who thought it would be a nice sign of his love. Adam White and I liked the same girl. He heard I'd kissed her underwater at her Dutch pool party, French style, which is weird for a fifth grader like me. I had not even kissed Snoopy. There were skill sets as a fifth grader my tongue would not be prepared for. I did not know who started the rumor, but I was about to pay for it with the cash of my face. The same field we chased girls together in, the strong freckled Adam challenged me to my first fist fight. I felt like a coward in the costume of a coward. I was skinnier than a dead model. No matter how much I denied the rumor, his freckles kept popping from his face like braille. Your ass is grass, Derek Brown. I know. The crowd gathered. I stared at them like a sparrow trapped in the airport terminal, wanting sky but stuck against glass. I stood like a cricket in a junkyard of fiddles, unable to stop my legs from shaking music from my knees. He swore he loved her and that I would pay, his forehead blistering, wrinkled like a crumpled valentine. Where in the hell were the teachers? What I wanted was mercy, but even I didn't know what that word meant. His fist came out and crushed at my jaw. My eyes went black and all that I saw was a shower of lightning bugs, children flashing into sunshine, my teeth penetrating my cheek, falling backwards, blood fertilizing the softball field. But instead of freezing, I stood up again. 
He struck me down once more, eyes ricocheting against the back of my skull, the earth meeting my failure, legs buckling, skin reeking with contact, and I stood up again. And he socked me with all his might, matchsticks lighting my cheeks, and I stood up again, and he hit me so hard, my mother's eyes bled, and I fell again, and I stood up again, and again, and again, and again, until he grew tired of socking me and left. Everybody left. Alone there, baptized in my own warm blood, I now knew the cost of the satin sponge and the slop of a girl's ridiculous lips. Cause guess what? We did kiss underwater at the Dutch pool party like aqua spies and it was worth it. There's nothing for me to learn from winning. It is losing that has yielded the unforgettable lessons. Losing is pregnant with chance. Victory escorts loss to every dance. Harmony, harmony. That was Victory Explosions by Derek C. Brown. Good night.